Hi guys, it's Jamie Kay with Save the Kales, and on today's episode, join me as we are inspired by coconut. Today we're making vegetable chickpea patties with a spicy coconut and chipotle dipping sauce, then a raw kale salad with a curry coconut dressing. But first, join me at a local farmer's market. the new farmer's market that's only four blocks from my house and this is great because I could just take a walk and then pick up some food to make for the day so let's go get some vegetables Hey, Kassara, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, good, nice to see you. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It is. We're here at the Bethlehem Farmer's Market, one of the newest ones in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. And how long has this market been here? It's been here since May, and um, it'll continue being here until October. So you're bringing a lot of food to people, and not yes. just the locals, but the people that are down here shopping. Exactly, and we're not only catering to the people that are shopping, but we're also hoping that the employees of downtown Bethlehem, I mean, we cater to over a thousand employees that come here. Oh, so okay. we're hoping that they also make their way down here and they can see what the local farms and um, produce have around here. All right, that's great. Yes. Well, we're gonna go do some shopping, so we'll see you guys at the vegetable booth. <laughs> Is there anything as too much? I don't think so. Definitely gonna take those. Thank you. Get <laughs> back. Let's put this yeah, one. Okay. They're like candy. I always say these tomatoes taste like sunshine. Um, what what are these? These are adorable. They're called fairy tale and plant. <laughs> oh my gosh! Are they really? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're called. That's perfect. They're really good. You should come here and you should get them. They're delicious. <laughs> they were good, thank you. <laughs> well, we just got done shopping here at the new Historic District Farmer's Market and we got all of this food for under $10. So make sure you check out the Farmer's Market in your neighborhood. You can feed yourself and your family for days on under $10 and you're putting money back into your community. Would you like to advertise with us on Save the Kales? Reach a television audience of more than 105,000 households and a huge online following. Maximize your ad potential for a much lower rate than you think. Call 610-435-1864 or email postsputnik at postsputnik.com to learn more about this great advertising opportunity. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are gonna get started on a really tasty dish. These are gonna be vegetable chickpea patties with a spicy chipotle coconut dipping sauce. Really good stuff. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set your oven to preheat at 350 degrees. And then you wanna make sure that you have some cooked quinoa. Um, you could also use brown rice, but quinoa is full of protein and really good for you. Um, so this is what quinoa looks like. Let's just talk about this for a minute. Uh, it's spelled Q-U-I-N-O-A which looks like quinoa. <laughs> I think that's like the name of a cabin I stayed in in summer camp. Um, but it's pronounced quinoa and it's very good for you. So that's what we're gonna use. You're gonna wanna have a cup and a half of cooked quinoa. So you only need about half of that while it's still dry. So we'll set that aside. And let's see, now we're gonna get started uh, shredding some carrots for the veggies in this. 
And uh, you really only need one big carrot for this recipe, but I'm going to do uh, do three carrots because we're going to use some in a recipe later and that'll just save us some time. So you just turn it on and feed them in. Okay. So it takes about five seconds, what it would take you uh, several minutes to do by hand. Now you have beautifully shredded carrots. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna set these aside. And remember, we made a little more than we need now. We're gonna use half now and half for a recipe later. We'll use our regular S blade now. It's called an S because it's in the shape of an S. Now, all right, so for the chickpeas, you can use um, about two and a half cups of chickpeas or about two cans. We'll put those in. Okay, we're gonna add a great big handful of spinach. This is probably about a cup of packed spinach. Use more if you want. I don't know how much more will fit in here, but use as much as you can. All right, and then we're gonna take two stalks of green onion. So we'll just chop those ends off and give these a quick rough chop so they'll uh, fit in the food processor a little bit better. All right, now we're gonna mush everything together. All right, so once everything is mushed together, and let me add that if it gets a little over full, you can uh, take half out and put it in a bowl and just kind of do, uh, do it twice with your ingredients. All right, it does get very mushy. So there's our chickpeas and green onion and spinach. That's a nice green color now, it looks pretty good. Okay, now we'll add half of our carrots back to that. And then mix everything through. And I'm using my hands. <laughs> so feel free to use a spatula if you want to, but we're gonna be using our hands in this anyway, so why not get in there? This would actually be a really great recipe to make with kids, um, cause you really get to play with your food a lot in this one. All right, now to this mixture, we're going to add a half a cup of coconut milk. And this is canned coconut milk. Um, it might not be quite the same stuff that you might use on your cereal that comes in a carton. So canned coconut milk, you can use the light kind if you'd like. Um, we're going to add our cup and a half of cooked quinoa. We have one teaspoon of each. This is a curry powder, turmeric, and cumin. It's already lots of pretty colors in here. And there we go. And then lastly, a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. There we go. And we'll just add about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, now once again, uh, wash your hands and get in here and mix everything really well. All right, so now we have this uh, huge pile of dough, essentially, right? This chickpea batter dough. So uh, get a cookie sheet. You might need a huge cookie sheet or two that are about this size. And you can really make these whatever size you want. If you wanna make them the size of like burgers, you can, and those would be really good. But I think they're better when they're kind of smaller, like, like about like that, okay? So just make a little ball and squish it kind of flat. And then this would be great for a party because it's gonna make a lot of food. And when they're small like this, it means everybody has more room left to eat all the rest of the really good food <laughs> that you made. Mm -hmm. 
Well, these are really colorful and really pretty, and uh, the kids can definitely help with this, especially making the little patties. It's really fun. So we're gonna make as many as we can with the amount of dough that we have, and then add them to our 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. So while everything else is in the oven, let's make our sauce. And what we're gonna start with is the rest of that can of coconut milk. So this should be, it's gonna be about a cup, maybe a little bit more than a cup of uh, coconut milk. And to that, we're gonna add about 10 to 12 sun-dried tomatoes. And we're throwing everything into a high-speed blender, or any kind of blender that you have. Um, then a half a cup of raw cashews. Remember, raw cashews make everything really creamy and really good. And then we have chipotle peppers. Now these are a really smoky, spicy pepper, so a little go a long way. Uh, I like stuff a little spicier, so I'm gonna use two whole ones, but you might wanna just start with one and see if that's good for you. Um, and these are kind of flattened and squished, and they're covered in that adobo sauce, which is that really yummy, uh, smoky, spicy sauce. So we wanna get that in there. And gonna add just a little bit of salt, give everything a flavor boost, and start blending. And if we need to, we can add a little bit more water to help things move along. Once you have all the main stuff blended, just add a little bit of water so it's not too, too thick. So we'll turn it on low and just add some in. All right, so when that gets to a consistency that you want, just dump it out and put it on the side. It does make an awful lot, so you can use it for something else. This would be really good as a sandwich spread, or you can thin it down even more, maybe with a flavorful oil, and turn it into a salad dressing. Okay, that makes a lot. All right, we'll set that aside, and we will go check on our chickpea patties. So it's been 20 minutes, and we take our vegetable patties out of the oven. And you can tell when they're done because they'll just start to look a little dry on top, but don't leave them in longer than 20 minutes or they'll start to dry out and that won't be good. Okay, so we're gonna add them to our platter where we have some others that we made. And this whole amount came from the recipe that I gave you. I didn't double anything, this is just how many it makes. And uh, if you can't eat them all, right away they freeze really well too. Make sure you wrap them really well and you can put them in the freezer uh, for a couple weeks. All right, oh, we got one more left. All right, so now you can serve this like this and let everybody uh, add their own sauce and maybe make a little card here if you're at a party saying that it's gonna be spicy so no one is surprised. But these are ready to go. Would you like to advertise with us on Save the Kales? Reach a television audience of more than 105,000 households and a huge online following. Maximize your ad potential for a much lower rate than you think. Call 610-435-1864 or email postsputnik at postsputnik.com to learn more about this great advertising opportunity. Welcome back to the show. We are about to get started on our coconut curry kale salad. So we're gonna start with kale. And uh, I decided to use it again because as you guys know, it is one of the absolute most nutrient dense foods on the whole earth. It probably is the most nutrient dense food on the whole earth. And uh, a lot of people ask me because of the name of this show and the name of my website, what do I do with kale? I finally got some. So give you some more kale recipes. And this is one of them, and this one is great. It's really, really flavorful. So remember, how we get our kale leaves is by holding the stem and then pulling it like that, and the stem will separate. And now we're just gonna use our hands to tear it into pieces. 
You could chop it if you want. It's really, really sturdy and it does hold up to a knife really well. We'll get this whole bunch ready to go. All right, so all of our kale is here in this big giant bowl. Get the biggest bowl that you can. And uh, we're gonna actually break it down. Oil helps, uh, oil and acid helps break kale down when you're using it in a raw salad. So I'm using coconut oil. And we're gonna use one tablespoon for this big whole bunch. So that's not too much if you're concerned about oil. And now we're gonna get in there with our hands and just start massaging it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a workout for you. I'm sure the kale likes it. And uh, what's gonna happen is you will notice that this huge overflowing bowl of greens is gonna get down to about half of its size. So, ooh, and it smells, smells like the beach. <laughs> it smells like suntan lotion at the beach, which is why I wanted to use this recipe now in the middle of summer when it is so darn hot. All right, so we'll just do this for a couple more minutes. Okay, so our kale shrunk down a little bit and now we have a little more room to put the rest of our stuff. So the next thing I'm gonna put in are, remember those carrots that we shredded before? Let's add some of those. This is gonna be really colorful too. It's a very celebratory uh, meal that we're making here today. <laughs> I'm also gonna chop up some purple cabbage. And I think that this may be one of the prettiest vegetables uh, on the entire earth. It is so beautiful. All right. Oh, isn't that the best? That's my favorite. It's just so pretty. I wanna make like wallpaper <laughs> out of this pattern. All right, so we're just gonna take a little bit and actually remove some of these big uh, outside leaves. And we're gonna add some raw purple cabbage to the salad. So just shred it kind of finely. And when you cut it like this, and then you pull it apart, it'll kind of do this little like, uh, like confetti or something, right? So that's really good. We're gonna add this at the end though. So we will just kind of put this aside till we're ready for it. Okay, so this is about you know, maybe a cup of uh, raw purple cabbage. And now we'll make the dressing. So we're gonna get the coconut oil back out and use two tablespoons of coconut oil. The juice of one half of a lime. We're gonna use a soy sauce or a tamari sauce, and that's gonna be a teaspoon. And then the same thing with the liquid sweetener, you can use a uh, pure maple syrup or an agave nectar, something like that would be perfect. And then we were going to mince uh, one clove of garlic. So if you have a microplane uh, grater, this is the time to use it. So one fresh clove of garlic, and that's it. That's the whole dressing, and you're gonna love how flavorful this is. And it's gonna be really tropical too with the lime and the coconut. If you know a song about limes and coconuts, now would be the time to put that on your iPod and play while you serve this dish. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add our dressing to the bowl with the kale and the carrots, and then get our hands back in there, and once again, massage everything through. If you want to be done with the salad, you could be done now, just uh, at the last minute, mix in that purple cabbage and you're ready to go. But you can make it a little fancier with some garnishes and some added ingredients. So um, I have a mango and we'll add some fresh mango to it. Why not? So cut the mango. And mangoes are kind of strange to cut. <laughs> But once you get the hang of them, they're not that bad. So slice this, these two big ends off as close to the pit in the middle as you can. And then just like you would with an avocado, kind of make a little grid on it. And be very careful with the knife so you don't, you know, hurt yourself and go all the way through. 
All right, and once you have your grid on your mango, you'll see it'll pop out like that. It's kind of awesome. It looks like a nice like light fixture, something from the 60s. <laughs> so we can uh, put that on the salad too. Pull all those pieces off. And then do that with the other side. Chop a little fresh cilantro. Cilantro is really good with uh, flavors like this. And then where the curry is going to come in, in the coconut curry, is we're just going to add a teaspoon of curry powder. And believe me, a little goes a long way. You don't want the curry powder to be too heavy because it's going to kind of make it too savory of a dish. So right now this has a really nice balance of savory and sweet. We want to try and keep that. Okay, so we'll put this aside as well for a garnish later. Adding about a teaspoon of curry powder. So let's mix the curry powder through everything. Try and not get any big uh, blobs of curry powder <laughs> in one concentrated area. And get the mango mixed through. Okay, and now we'll get some of that purple cabbage. You might not even quite need a whole cup, you can kind of see, but look at the contrast in colors now. It looks really pretty. Once we have that, we're gonna add some dried coconut flakes, and these are not sweetened, um, and these are kind of a thicker coconut flake. Um, they're not shredded, not shredded too finely, I should say. Oh, it looks so pretty. All right, now, if you want, you can add a little bit of a um, crushed red chili pepper. Of course, I'm gonna do that because I like it. We'll add a little bit of sesame seeds on top. And if this is too much stuff, you can do all of these, you can do none of these. I think the coconut on top does make a really nice presentation though. You can do a little bit more cilantro and some lime wedges. And you are ready to serve this. So there you go. Wipe off the sides of the plate and everyone at your party is gonna be so impressed. And it's healthy too. <laughs>
a great material. I love working with it, and yeah. everything I have at VegFest will be made out of it. That's so awesome. So let's see, we have this little baby avocado. Yes, little avocado. He's very happy. We have <laughs> Mr. Carrot. Ah, we're going to make a little <laughs> collection here. A little collection, a little eggplant. Eggplant. You can we collect have them all. Beet. <laughs> And little Look fluffy at this guy. broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. These are so great. Okay, I look. These are all adorable, might I add. So these will be available at Bethlehem Veg yes, Fest. Yes, some other surprises that I'm still working on. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Now this is not all. No. <laughs> because I kind of on a whim had a little suggestion, something funny, and I mentioned it to Jamie, and she made it and created it immediately because you're very good at that <laughs> and uh, we have an exclusive Save the Kales item that will now be available at Bethlehem Veg Fest and on SaveTheKales.com and why don't you unveil <laughs> this is so good here she is <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tofu the exclusive Jamie K tofu <laughs> <laughs> because I think that all tofu <laughs> needs uh, Eyeliner yes. and glasses and Accessory. eyelashes, right? Yes. Yeah. These are just my favorite. Thank you so much for making Anytime. them. Anytime. They're I had so a cute. Blast making them. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find these uh, through Crinoline or through SaveTheKales.com, and you will be supporting this lovely local lady <laughs> and her craft business. All right, let's get all of these beautiful things put aside because I don't want to get food all over them because they are so cute. And uh, now you get to eat some stuff because you came to visit us. So <laughs> what we have is a raw kale salad with a coconut curry dressing. And there's some mango in there and some other really good things in there. I'll get some for beautiful. me too. I know, weren't they pretty? <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a craft, right? Like cooking. Mm -hmm. You're combining things and getting yes. creative and making them pretty. Okay. And then these are uh, curried chickpea cakes with some vegetables. And then, I'll let you add that if you want. That's our sauce, it's a chipotle coconut sauce. Come on the side. Oh, and I have a fork and a napkin Thank just for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's try this stuff. Alrighty. We'll start with this. Mmm, mango looks good. I have a confession. Mm hmm <laughs> I'm on your show. I've never eaten kale before. <gasps> and I love it. Yay! You think it's good, right? Yeah, I do. <gasps> That's mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> See, we're going to bring them over to mm -hmm. the, not the dark side, maybe the <laughs> green side. I don't know. Yeah, this turned mm -hmm. out really well. And then did you get to try the uh, the cakes yet? I'm working on While it. While you're doing that, I'm going to pour some watermelon lime cooler to drink. This mm. is banana, watermelon, and lime juice. And that's it. And some ice. <laughs> and that's really pretty too. Yes, very good. Pretty <laughs> color. Little kick, very good. Little bit of a kick, mm -hmm. yeah. That's good too. Well, I'm so glad you joined us today. <laughs> we'll do a little cheers. Okay. Send you off. Thank you thank so you. much for coming on the show. And thank you everybody for watching and we will see you on the next episode of Save the Kales.